Welcome to online mariachi class with Miss Rayburn. I'm going to go through our basic uh, three key warm up that we've been doing almost every day in class. And it includes these three keys, and I hope this shows up forwards for you. If this is backwards, it doesn't really matter because you have this in your materials. You should have it in your folders. Um, this information is on the front page of that green packet. So we're going to do the key of Do, key of Sol, and the key of Re in this video, okay? And if you have, um, to see what order we're doing it in, you can get out your mariachi scales sheet. And that was the sheet we were using for our warm-ups. Um, and you'll notice that the chords end up going in this order. Primera, tercera, segunda, primera. Tercera, segunda, primera. So it goes, it ends up, it's it's kind of funny, it ends up going backwards. If you, if you will watch up here, I go like this. Primera, tercera, segunda, primera. Tercera, segunda, primera. So you can see the cycle actually goes this direction. And I'm not 100% sure why it's called primera, segunda, tercera then, because it goes in this order. But I'm sure that there's a good reason for that. But at this point, I don't totally know why it goes in that order. But I just know that it does on the sheet that we have. And in most songs, it does go in this order. Do, fa, sol. Do, fa, sol. Or sol, do, re. Or re, sol, la. So that's the pattern we're going to do for our warm-up right now. That's what I just played. So that should sound pretty familiar to you. At this point, I would have out my scale, either that green packet, if that works for you, or the advanced scale sheet that has the full um, keys on there. And in that, if you're looking at that sheet, this is just the first two measures, the really simple part of each one. Okay, so we're going to go through it at a slower speed than once we do. Um, actually, I'm going to ask Ms. Nunez to make videos going a little bit quicker and going through the whole, the whole, the whole scale in each key, which is that longer line that you have there that goes into three, uh, the three, four time. Okay, so I'm just going to do the part that's in two, four, the simple beginning part. Um, and then I will also make a video without all the talking in it so you can watch it again and not hear the explanation twice. So here's the key of C. So remember in the key of C, we're going C, F, G7, C. F, G7, C, okay? So we'll do that again nice and slow. Ready, try. Still for me, G7 is one my hand's not used to, so I think I usually play G. But you can try, um, if, if G7's not working for you yet, you can always do this with G just to warm up. It'll still sound pretty nice with G. G and G7 sound good together, so you're not gonna mess it up by playing G. For me, G is just so much in my hand, sometimes I play that, and this stretch feels a lot, so. That's what we actually want to have though is the G7. So if G7 is not working for you, you can try G and then what you're going to want to do is I'm going to make a video that's just practicing F, sorry, yes, yeah, C, F to G7. That's a tricky switch. So I'll do a video just about that. Um, let me write that down. I'll take notes while I'm going. That one's tricky. F to G7. Okay, we'll make one for that. So, whichever one's working for you now, we'll try it at a medium speed now, so just so you have the rhythm. So, here we go. Key of Do. Do, Sol, Fa, sep uh, it would be Do, Fa, Sol, Septima. If you can get the Septima, great. If it's just Sol, that's also okay for now. And then Do again. One, two, a little bit faster. So in this case, if you want to practice that again, go ahead and just rewind the video and you can do it again with me. Otherwise, you can just pause it and practice it on your own and until it feels really comfortable and you can do it a little bit faster. Eventually, we are going to want to go do, re, mi, fa. We'll go with the violins like this. One, two, try it faster. For me that almost my g7 went away for a second but i got it back so 
that's the idea. So you can start it slowly, definitely practice it more than I just did, but I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so there's the key of, of Do explained again in full. Here's the key of Sol one more time. So Sol is G. So we're gonna have Sol, Do, Fa, Sol. Oh wait, am I doing it in the right order? Sorry, that was incorrect. Sol, Do, Re. There we go. And it should be Re. Ah. Uh. There we go. D7. D7 is there. So try that one with me, nice and slow. One, two, really slow. Sol, go. Sol. Do, D7, okay, so there was that one really slow, at a little bit higher tempo, again, if, if D7 is really hard for you, but you can do D, that's not going to mess anything up, and I will do a video, I'll do maybe one just all about seven, all the seven chords, that will be its own special video, okay, so if you play D or D7, D7 is correct, but D is okay. Okay, so here's again, key of sol. A little bit faster now. One, two, key of sol. And the nice thing actually, I just realized, C to D7, that one actually is easier because you don't even have to move your first finger. C, D7, G. C, D7, G. So that one stays right there the whole time. So that's pretty nice. All right, one more time, key of soul, now at a higher tempo. Again, if you want to repeat me at a slower tempo, please feel free, or just stop and practice on your own. Here we go. One, two, oh, let's see. Da, 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 One, two, here we go. I'm bouncing my hand even when I'm not playing and that just helps me keep the beat um, especially if I don't have violins with me to listen to um, to fill in those spaces it's kind of hard you can also just uh, do more strums if you're finding it hard to keep the rhythm you can do like That's a good way to practice as well so you can really hear all the beats especially if you're alone and so you can hear more of that rhythm. Okay, so those are a couple different strategies there. Practice it slowly, practice it slowly many times, practice it at a medium speed many times, and then you should be able to get it faster. Also practicing it with all of those subdivisions or all those fast beats in between is helpful as well. Last, one, last but not least, and then this video will be hopefully less than 10 minutes, great. So here's the re, uh, key of re, clave de re. Re, Sol, and then we have this A7 or La Settima, Sol, okay, or sorry, Re. And my hand still wants to do A7, or just A. So again, a and A7 are, are pretty interchangeable, though we do want that A7 or the septima chord there, okay? So let me do that a little bit slower. One, two, re, go. Okay, so there's that one. And I did realize, I think you could do A7 with these fingers, one and two, and then it, it makes going to D easier. I was doing it this way. Oopsies. And that's a bigger switch. So make sure you're using the first two fingers here. Okay? So. Key of Do a little bit faster. This is our medium speed. Okay? One, two, ready, and D. Last but not least, we'll go at a higher tempo, and then you can check at my, I'm going to do this all again, but just without the talking. So that one will be one you can watch over and over again and just practice with me, okay? 
So here we go. Last one, last one key of D clavelere. Da, da, da. This is how fast we should do it. One, two, ready and go. Second try. One, two, here it is. So obviously I need to practice my key of D. There we go, you can practice it with me. All right, hopefully that was helpful, at least to get you started with warming up. And you can check back and look at the next video, which will be smoother, and you can hopefully practice with me on there. Please let me know if you have any questions, if I can help you with anything. You should still be practicing those longer scales as well, as well as um, you have your, your songs, your actual music. And I will put some links so you can play with recordings and you can put your headphones on and just pretend like you're part of the band and play along with some of these good YouTube recordings. So I'll make sure to send those to you guys as well. Enjoy, have fun.